good tutorial. In the previous tutorial, we uh, set up the design of our site. Um, I'm not going to pride myself on how great it looks, but it does look somewhat, you know, good. Um, I, I'm sure it would pass as a designed website, but anyhow, at least we got something here that looks somewhat good. It, it, a little eye candy for us as we move on. Anyhow, let's go ahead and we're going to design the form now in uh, using in Django because if you look at a form, it looks like crap. And obviously, Bootstrap's not really helping it right now. Um, <clears throat> go ahead and open up your uh, add comment.html document. And in here is where our form lives. And now, for you guys who are web designers, you used to seeing like input fields here, like something like input, and you could design that. Well, Django doesn't give us that. It, it gives us form dot, and then we can do uh, as paragraph. Well, there's no way for us to really style it. Um, so there's a um, package out there for Django called Crispy Forms, Django Crispy Forms, and it gives us the ability to use Bootstrap and a couple other uh, CSS frameworks, and as well as um, gives you the ability to edit your um, the design of your of the forms itself. If you go and read their documentation, it's pretty cool. So um, what we're going to do is make it very basic. We're just going to get it set up, installed into our site, and allow it to uh, style um, our form for us. So how do we do this? Well, first off, Let's go, let's design what we can so far, and then we'll go from there. So in add comment, let's go ahead and do a row here, a div class, div class, and we're going to say row, all right, and we'll close out that div down here at the bottom, div, all right. Um, then we're going to do the uh, same thing we did in the previous tutorial. We're going to go ahead and make this a columns wide. So div class equals, and then we're going to do col md8. All right. And then we got to close out that column down here. So we'll do div. And then we're going to create another column for our sidebar. So we'll do a uh, class equal to uh, col md4. And then close that, potentially close that div out. There we go. And in here, we can just, uh, in a second, we'll do that. Hold on. Up here, we want to go ahead and do our div header so it matches the rest of our site. So we're going to do div class is equal to uh, page hyphen header. Boom. And down here, close that div out. And then take this copy it or cut it and we're going to paste it right in here like that all right and then we're going to take this copy that come down into our sidebar area put the page header and just rename this to sidebar simple all right so that's all we can actually um code on our end um so now we need to get the uh, crispy forms package to help us uh, code the uh, form itself. So let's just go ahead and take a look at the form as it stands right now. And there we go. That's what we got so far. But this looks like crap over here. All right. So let's go ahead and fix that up. Open up your terminal. Hit Control C to kill your server. There you go. I'm going to clear my screen and then I'm going to do put. Uh, no, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to do, um, we got to install something. So pip3 install C R I S P Y hyphen. Uh, no, that's not it. <laughs> Django C R I S P Y hyphen forms. Just like that. Django hyphen crispy hyphen forms. All right. Hit return and it's going to go ahead and install that. While it's done, I'm gonna check my email real quick. Something's blowing up. Hmm, that's not good. All right. Um. So that's installed. So now we can go to our settings document. 
So we need to do two things here with settings. So in CMS, where are you? Close that, open that. Settings.py, we need to do two things. Uh, first thing we need to do is install Chris, uh, add crispy forms to installed apps. And we just simply do uh, quotes because it's going to go in the string and C R I S P Y underscore forms, just like that. And then a comma. All right. I like to put all my installed packages above my apps that I built because they're in that way, they're easier to decipher where they're coming from. All right. So crispy forms is in there. And then all the way down to the bottom, under static errors, we're going to add one more thing here. And this is going to basically tell. Uh, crispy forms package what template pack do we want to use now if you're using specific uh, uh, CSS code that you wrote you have to create your own template pack and that's on their documentation so just Google crispy forms Django uh, crispy forms and there's plenty of documentation on that that's not what we're going to do in this tutorial all right so anyway so let's add the crispy template pack so C R I S P Y underscore template underscore pack and then uh, assign that to bootstrap three bootstrap three just like that all right so now we have the bootstrap three template pack basically what this is doing is telling crispy forms hey we're gonna we're using bootstrap three so set it up as that when we run you through our program Okay, now that stuff is done, the next thing we need to do is go back to our uh, post detail. Isn't that where we're at? Yeah, let's go back to post detail. Post detail. Bum, 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 bum. All right. No, not post detail. Add comment. There we go. Woo, draw on the blank. All right, so let's get and add a comment. <laughs> but first thing we need to do is add crispy forms. Load crisp, crispy forms. So template tag, the two uh, percentage symbols. Then we're going to say load crispy. For some reason, every time I do this, I spell it wrong. I swear to God, every website I've ever built with Django, I spell crispy forms wrong. So load crispy form tags that's what it says okay um down here we're going to take out the form as sp and we're going to put in a another variable and it's going to be form the pipe symbol and then crispy i spelled it right that time yeah cool um we probably should style this button but we'll do it in a second anywho well, let's go ahead and we saved it well, let's go back and refresh our page well, let's make sure this stuff works well. Our server's not running, so let's run our server. Python 3. Manage.py. Run server. There we go. Bum, bum, bum. All right, sweet. Now our server's running. Refresh. It better look sexy. Boom, there you go. So now you got user, and you notice a little star up there that's required. Email, a little star, it's required. Bodies, a little star, it's required. And we got our submit button down there. I guess we can leave the submit button like that. It kind of looks all right. Um, if you wanted to, you could do like, uh, actually, let's, let's change it just for the heck of it. Uh, button right here, right after type. We'll do class, and we'll do uh, BTN, BTN hyphen success. We'll give it a green color. We give our site a little color. Color. There you go. So the submit button for success. Well, that's our tutorial on designing forms. Noticed it was extremely easy to do. All we had to do, just a quick rundown of what exactly happened is we first went to our terminal we installed um we used pip3 installed django hyphen crispy hyphen forms we installed that then we went into our settings.py file 
went to installed apps we included crispy forms underscore forms and then we went to all the way to the bottom where I like to keep all my um, static files and design stuff together and we put in crispy template pack H, uh, bootstrap 3 we included that and then we went just over to our add comments page we loaded crispy form tags that way we could grab those tags and we came down here and said form um, the pipe and then crispy threw that in there and voila we got a pretty damn good looking uh, um, what you call it form here so I guess in the next tutorial we'll uh, start working on the admin section uh, unless you guys want to see something else we'll start working on the admin section and uh, go from there so I'll see you then